I'm at the, I'm at the, uh, I'm at the uh, gas station right now. It's, uh, at, it's in between, um, it's in between, uh, it's in between uh, Las Vegas and uh, the California border. It's not exactly prim. Not exactly prim, but it's before it's still in Nevada. It's by Gene. I think it would be technically Gene. So uh, I wanted to make a video tonight. Uh, that is one of my chosen purposes in life. Uh, some people teach, some people protect, some people serve in different ways. I like to speak. Not it doesn't make me better or worse than anyone else, but hey, we might as well try to contribute what we can. Reap, you know, reap, sow what we want to reap, good vibes, good energy, and uh, positive thinking. So, uh, the video I want to make is a sore topic, and that's actually the reason why I want to make the video. Um, and it's been a sore topic pretty much since the 1940s, when uh, Hitler um, became a trespassing murderer. So... I do not really care about Nazism by any means. Um, I, I have, uh, so, and the reason I want to talk about it is because I hear it come up different places, you know, Kanye West or, or other celebrities or this person or that person and this and that, and it's like, it, it, it drives me nuts because it tears people apart. It, it, it shouldn't because it's dead. And that's the reason I'm making the video. It's not to try to like talk about, a, you know, oh, I'm going to talk about Nazism or, or neo-Nazis or I'm not going to talk about, I'm not, do, I'm doing it because I want to try to plant a productive seed in society. Because if we're going to argue about stuff, we might as well argue about modern day issues like taxes and schools and violence and and you know the relationship between the government and the working class that's what we should be debating about not nazism because here's the thing and the reason i'm saying this is because i am uh german half like part of my family is german like they came from germany in uh like 1918 so it was right around the time of world war one which is really the, in my family, what I was told was uh, they they were offered by Russia to come from Germany as farmers because I guess the Russians appreciated the German farmers and they offered Germans land in Russia. So my family went to Russia from like Austria and Germany and then eventually came back and went to the United States in 1918. So that is around the time of World War I and, and Hitler was around and Hitler was actually in World War I as a soldier. And so that would be about the birthplace of Nazism. Because if you study his life, that was one of the biggest things was like he was in a war. And, uh, and look what he created after. But anyways, so um, that being said, I, one of the, the part of my family that is German is 12 kids and they were farmers and and uh, they moved from like Minnesota, Montana to, to like basically like San Bernardino, Loma Linda, Redlands during whatever, I don't know exactly, throughout the eight, from 1918 up until the 60s and 70s when they lived in LA, Southern California, San Bernardino, you know, uh, Loma Linda, Redlands areas. So that being said, out of, and this is just a joke. This is a, this is true, but it's a joke. Out of those twelve kids, one of them was nicknamed as a Nazi. Like his let's let's say his name was Nathan. Let's say his nickname was Nathan the Nazi. Out of his fa own immediate family, and the crazy part is, the other twelve brothers joined World War II as Americans to go fight at Battle of the Bulge, uh, according to my grandma. And I have their World War II patches and everything. So no superiority, no offense, no, no disrespect, but that is kind of my family history. And I'm telling you right now, it died, it, it died with Hitler. 
if Hitler's alive somewhere, Nazism isn't. No, the the what happened was Hitler came back from what I studied. Hitler came back from World War Two. He he, I mean from World War One. He he uh, he was so depressed and distraught, and in, in, in the country was in the crapper, and uh, and he uh, he took over the banks. He was a painter. He was like a drifter, like a like a like a vagrant for a while, I believe. And then he eventually took over the banks, took over the city commerce, and the birthplace of Nazi Germany happened. And they started having speeches and rallies. And yes, and here's the thing: I will never defend murder and trespass in the way that Hitler decided to use the power that he was given or took or whatever. I will never defend murdering and trespassing. But what you have to realize and see for what history is, the Russians and the Germans and the Slovakians and the Czech Republic and the Ukraine and all those Germanic, you know, light skin, dark kind of dirty blondish, blue eyes, dark hair, blue, dark eyes, light skin, whatever, they've been fighting for a really long time. And they're still fighting today. And Germany was fighting Russia in World War II long before we got involved. And the only reason we got involved, really, was because of Pearl Harbor, not because of Ger Nazi Germany. So, was it evil and murderous and disgusting and terrible that uh, Hitler tracked down these non pax tank people and murdered them? I, yes, I say he should have kicked them off the land, sent them packing, chased them back to wherever he felt they had come from because that was kind of the issue is that they were on German land and they weren't paying taxes and, and, and that would be that but I wouldn't have murdered and trespassed and gone and decided I was going to conquer everybody and done all this insanity so that is obvious evil but it is not if you I've never read Mein Kampf but what it represents to me as a you know my ancestry is my struggle and Lil Boosie, the rapper, has a song that's called My Struggle, and it's the same thing. And what it's basically saying to, and I've never read my cup, but what it's basically saying is like, it's my struggle, it's my pain, only I can understand it, don't try to take the glory for it. It's like, you can't, and, and it's basically like self-building, self-confidence. So, so, to me, it, Nazism was not a good thing. But it has been twisted. It was a, they were murderous people. And it be, the swastika and Nazism became a symbol of fear. And then, and I love America, modern day America. I love, I love the modern day United States of America. But we have to realize <coughs> that some of the crap from our past is no good. And, and us dropping atomic bombs on innocent women and children is no good. And yes, I have a different strategy if I would have been president. And, 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 and also taking the Nazism for a symbol of fear that it was, the swastika and just the, the whole idea of Nazi, Nazism and the SS and the lightning bolts and the, the skull and crossbones and all the words and the sea kyle and all that and how, and all, all of it, 88, every drip and drop is a symbol of fear because it's, it, it represents the, the murder and the, and the evil that this army committed. But it is not the same thing as modern day racism, okay? The, 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 the Nazis were, were, were fighting the Russians and anyone else who wanted the business in Europe. They, they passed peacefully through a lot of countries and, and became friends with a lot of countries. And they also murdered a lot of Europeans. Do I believe 100% that they were Israelite, Jewish, Hebrew descent? Not necessarily. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Because if you look at Israelite and Hebrew people, they don't really look like the Jews that were murdered. Whether And I'm not saying it's right that he did that. But like, I, look at what Ukraine and Russia are still doing today. It's, the, it's almost a similar situation. There's a group of people on some land. Someone doesn't want them there. And they're blowing each other. Except that one was more of just straight slaughter, which makes it even worse. But, like, the Nazis went into Africa. The Nazis didn't target African-American soldiers in American troops. The, the Nazis didn't set out to track down all the black people in the, United, in the world and kill them all. Not in the slightest bit. Look at what they actually did. 
They were chasing Russians and Hasidic Jews or whatever. These people that were on German land. Everyone else they offered peace to. Now that doesn't make them good. It doesn't make it okay. But it isn't the same as a modern day Ku Klux Klan American white supremacist, okay? American white supremacy is not German Nazism. If you claim to be a German Nazi today, you, to me, you're a fool. Now, now, don't get me wrong. I've been to prison. I even have some prison tattoos. But, but, and, and I've met some solid skinheads. I've met some solid dudes that I respect that have swazis and all that tatted, tattooed on them. But I, but I gotta keep it real. If I was a skinhead, I would make up my own symbols. I would make up my own tattoos. I would not steal hundred-year-old symbols of fear from a dynasty that fell. That's what happened. It fell. They lost. It's dead. It's gone. For you to use that today as a cover for American white supremacy rooted in slavery and Ku Klux Klan and British witchcraft and racism? Look what the British... Look what the British did to, to Australia. Look what the British did to America. Look what the British did to every country that has red, white, and blue in their flag. They imperialized them, they murdered them, they, they civilized them, they enslaved them. And then you look at German Nazis who, who, who went crazy on their own home turf, which is really what happened. They went nuts out on their own home, home turf. And then they, the Americans took this German symbols of a world fear and slapped it on America to cover up for American white supremacy. German Nazism is dead. It's been dead. Study it, learn it, understand it, give it up. It's dead. The only part that's cool about it is the skull and crossbones because it's, and, and there's good guns and good cars. It's dead. It's not the same as being a white supremacist of modern day America that's rooted in slavery. The German Nazis went into Africa fighting the British, fighting like, the other white people. They weren't after the African, the native Africans. They didn't go down into the Su Sudan and, and, and Nigeria and try to kill. They could have easily flown there if that was their goal. Think about it. They had a unlimited manpower and machine power. And what did they do? They went and fought Russia and then Germans ended up going to America and coming back to Europe to fight other Germans in Russia at the Battle of the Bulge. It's crazy. But it is not the same thing as American white supremacy and the Ku Klux Klan and slavery. And that is some weirdo crap. And that's why I had to make, I wanted to make this video. Because I'm, my family comes so closely tied to Germans and Americans in World War II that it bothers me to, to watch white supremacists use it as a symbol of fear and confuse people. Now, it's a murderous and it's a sad, terrible part of history, but it isn't racist towards Mexicans. It isn't racist towards blacks. And it's dead and gone. It's over. Appreciate the technology and the, the what if there was anything that can be learned from it and let it die. That's it. It's a part of history. So is Attila the Hun. So is Pancho Villa. There is nothing related to modern day American society or Americans' problems with slavery and racism to German Nazism. There is nothing related. That would be like me putting on a Black Panther outfit as a white boy and st going into a, 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 a white collar, rich wedding reception and be like, screw all you crackers, screw it. That would be me. That's even more logical than what, what white supremacists do with the swastikas and the, and the, and the, um, and the German symbols. So, you know, I don't rock, the only iron cross that I have is from Jerusalem and it's from Israel and it's not a German iron cross. It's a blue iron cross with other crosses around it. And no one's even to say if it's really an iron cross. It's just a, a, a necklace that I bought from a Palestine guy at the mall where they have that booth with all the Nazareth and the, the Holy Trinity and the, you know, the the birth of Jesus at Christmas time at the mall. That's what, with all the rosaries and the olive wood. That's where I got my cross necklace. I don't have any German symbolism. The only thing would be some of my tattoos from prison, but that's just because I, it, it, it's not my, it's not, it's just because I, it, I, I was drunk and people tattooed me and, and I'm a white boy. So that's what they, that's, it has absolutely nothing to do with history or racism. It's just the product of prison. But anyways, yeah, so appreciate life. 
don't be racist, uh, you know, ignore racism, study the wrongs of your own ancestors so you don't have to make the same mistakes. Look at your ancestors and find their legacies and study their mistakes so you can be successful as the, as the legends of your ancestors and not have the same failures or mistakes in Jesus' name. Have a good night. I welcome all comments, questions, every, every little bit and bet and bat. Have a good day.